Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Wiimod on your Steam Deck Steam OS. If you don't know what Wiimod is, it's a cheat program that lets you cheat on your games. And if you install that on your Steam Deck, you can, you know, play your Steam Deck games with cheats on. I recently did a video, I'll leave a link in the description, using Wiimod on Power World. So this is the video and yeah, a lot of people were interested because I think Power World is just a very popular game and I guess people want to cheat in it. They don't want to do the grinding. All right, so I'm show you how to install Wiimod on your Steam Deck. All right, let me just find um, the programs that you need to download. So I do have a lot of tutorials for this, but this app like Wiimod just gets keeps getting updated. Okay, so okay, let me download what you need first. So I'll leave the links in the description. You need this Wiimod. This is the installer. So click on this. Okay, let's see what's the latest version. Oh, the latest version is 8.13.9. Okay, as of recording, it just gets keeps getting updated. So yeah, and you also need this, .NET Framework 4.8. So make sure you click and download this. These are the two installer files that you need. Okay. All right. And once you've got that, go here to your Discover Software Center. Type Proton in the search bar. Okay, make sure you download these two. Proton Up QT, the one with the green arrow up as the icon, and also Proton Tricks, the one with the red wine glass. So you need to install and, uh, you know, uh, download both of these. Okay, so you might want to open up Proton Up QT first. Okay, it's because we need a specific Proton version. Okay, make sure install for under Steam. Click here, add version. And we're going to download um, GE Proton 6.19 GE2. This is the one we want. 6.19 GE2. All right. I already have it. So I'm not going to press install. I have it right. Do well, I have it? Yeah. It's right here. Okay. So for you, you need to install it if you don't have this. Okay. Now go to your Steam. See, I've got Wiimod installed. 8.13.5 was the last version I installed. Okay, let me just boot it up. Let me show you what's the program like after you install it. Okay, so like I'm not sure why it doesn't automatically update. I think, um, yeah, it just doesn't automatically update. But you don't need the latest version. Like, you know, maybe just update it every couple of versions maybe so if you take a look uh my version is 8.13.5 and yeah it just doesn't automatically update I'm not sure why it says it has an error here an error occurred while installing an app update so yeah it just doesn't automatically update somehow so that's why i'm going to install the latest version right now so add a game click here add a game add a non-steam game Browse, and then I'm going to locate that um, installer. So 8.13.9 is the latest one that I downloaded just now. Add selected program. It's right here on the left-hand side. Okay, Right-click it, go into its properties. And under compatibility, I'm going to force it to Proton 619. Uh, if I can find it. I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Proton 6.19 GE2. Okay, we need to use this version to install. Press play. Okay, and we should get an error saying that, um, you know, we don't have .NET or something like that. Okay. Okay, here it is. Okay, so yeah, please reinstall the .NET framework, all right? So we don't have that. So yeah, that's normal, totally normal. Totally normal. Now we can, yeah, it stops automatically. Okay. So go here, Proton Tricks, the program that I asked you to download. Okay, select your non-Steam game. So it's right here, non-Steam shortcut, Wii Mod 8.13.9. Okay, so it, it might not install for everybody. Not everybody can install this. I'm not sure why. So uh, it works for me. Okay. Okay, so first thing you need to do, run Wine Config. Okay, and change here Windows version to Windows 7. That's what you really need to do because it doesn't install Windows 10. And then here, run uninstaller. Okay. 
Okay, now we're going to click here, install, and we're going to install that .NET framework. So it's in my downloads folder and make sure files of type, select programs, the asterisk.exe, then locate that offline installer, the .NET framework 4.8 offline installer that you downloaded at the very start. Okay. So let's, let's wait for it to extract. And we're going to install .NET Framework 4.8. Okay. So as I was saying, um, yeah, some people just can't install Wiimod. I'm not sure why. Like, I think you should follow these steps. And, you know, if it doesn't work, just, um, yeah, manage, remove non-Steam game from your library and start all over again. Okay, that's what I normally do. Okay, so now continue. I have read and accept the license terms, install. So now I'm trying to install .NET Framework 4.8. Okay, and if you want to locate the prefix folder, we really need to. So while we have time, open up your Dolphin, your file manager, go to home, okay. And make sure here you click the three lines here and make sure show hidden files, this is checked. Go to dot steam steam and then steam apps compact data okay and then sort by modified two minutes ago so this folder was created two minutes ago i'm pretty sure this is the b mod prefix folder okay and if you want to know where we mod is installed it's under drive c users steam user app data local and we should have a we mod folder here but we don't because we couldn't install it remember we don't have dot net that's why we're installing .NET right now. So it doesn't have the WeMod folder yet. We haven't installed it yet. Okay, just wait for it to install. It does take a little bit of time. You've got to be patient here. Okay, installation is complete. Finish. Okay. And then it doesn't show up here. So you just click OK. And you can run uninstall it right ag again. And you can see here, we've got .NET Framework 4.8 installed. Okay, click install again. Let's just install Wiimod right here. So we're still on our downloads folder. Select programs, asterisk.exe. And then select the Wiimod installer. So 8.13.9. I'm just going to run it right here. And you can see here, I'm running the installer and Wiimod just populated. So it's installing. We should have a splash screen. Yeah, this is the splash screen. And I'm pretty sure we installed it already. That's that's all it is. See this? It just populated when we click install. So yeah, that's done. We did it. Check it out again. Run uninstaller. Yeah, you see we got Wiimod 8.13.9 installed in this prefix folder. This is good. Okay. Now what do we do? We can just exit out of Proton Tricks for now. Okay, and we need this location so it's good to like copy this location because we don't right here we don't want to run the installer anymore we've already installed it what we need to do is we want to run the application itself so that's why that location that path was very useful we just paste it here click the tick mark and then we're going to select wemod.exe okay that's the target we're going to run the program Make sure at the start of the path, you add the quotation marks. And at the end of the path, you also add a quotation mark like this. All right. And then start in. Okay, we also want to paste that location. So without the quotation marks and without the exe. Okay. And then compatibility, we don't need to use Proton 6.19 GE2 anymore. Let's change it back to Proton Experimental. That's the Proton we want to use. Okay. Close the window and let's run it. See if it works. It shouldn't work because we should get this like the .NET framework is not installed. Something like that. It doesn't have the right version. Something, so yeah, something along the line of that. I haven't installed this in a while. So yeah. All right. So you need to have the correct version of .NET framework, right? There. Yeah, this is what we want. This is correct. Okay, let me try to close it. Okay, stop. Yep, okay. So you're probably wondering why, like, 
it says that. Like we already have .NET Framework 4.8 installed, right? Okay, so open up Proton Tricks again. Okay, and go to the non-Steam shortcut. Double click it. Okay, so we do have .NET Framework 4.8 installed, but that was installed on Proton 6.19 GE2. All right, and we're now running Remod on Proton Experimental. So that doesn't really work out. So what we need to do is select the default wine prefix. Okay, run uninstaller. Okay, you can see we do have .NET Framework installed, right? So we're going to remove it first. Okay, uninstall it. So click remove, modify remove, and then remove .NET Framework 4.8 from this computer. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to remove the old one that we installed with 6.19 GE2 because we're running the game on Proton Experimental. So we just remove it and then we reinstall it with Proton Experimental. Okay, so if you like the video so far, please leave a like. Uh, we talk a lot about gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck. If you like mods, cheats, trainers like this one, Wii Mod, that's basically all we talk about. So if you like that, please consider subscribing to the channel. And like this video, share it out. Thank you very much. Really helps out the channel. So if you want to know what Wiimod does, like, yeah, how it cheats, go watch that video I did with Power World. All right, so removal is complete. Okay, and now we just click install again. And we're still in our downloads folder. Select programs, asterisk.exe. And then we're going to select this, the .NET Framework 4.8 offline installer that we downloaded at the very start of the video. Okay, so installing it back again. We just uninstalled it. Now we're going to install it again. There is a difference because we've changed the Proton. Before we installed it on a lower version of Proton, 6.19 GE2. Now we're on Proton Experimental. So there is a difference. Continue. I've read and accept the license terms. Okay. And let's just install. So it is the moment of truth. If it works here, then uh, it's fine. I think a lot of people get stuck here. But uh, with this new method, maybe it's easier. I'm not sure. It works for me. I was stuck before on 8.13.3. I couldn't get it to work. But uh, yeah, now I can. So maybe you guys could do it too. If you have issues, let me know in the comments. I'm not sure how much I can help, but uh, yeah, just let me know and yeah, I'll see what I can do. Most of the time it's user error. Just follow the steps, step by step. Rewatch the video if you have to. Okay, I think it's going through. It's, it, it's, yeah, okay, very good. Installation is complete. Okay, okay. Normally what I like to do, it's not man mandatory. Go to run one config. Just change it back to Windows 10 because most of the games that I play run on Windows 10. If you have games that require Windows 7 or Windows Vista or whatever, you can change it here anytime you want. But I'm just going to change it back to Windows 10 for now. Okay. Okay, let's just exit out of um, Proton Tricks. Now let's run Wiimod. So we should be able to work now because we have the correct version of .NET Framework 4.8. All right. Okay, now you can see we can log in. So yeah, everything is looking good. So that's how you install Wiimod onto your Steam Deck Steam OS. If you want to know more, if you want more videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.